Shalom and thank you for tuning in to Soju TV. In my very first video, I will be doing my Numbers 1538 series and I will be showing you how to crochet bullion fringe. If you don't know how to crochet, I would suggest to look up other videos here on YouTube on the basics of crocheting. To get started, what we have to do first is to create our slip knot. And to create our slip knot, you will make a loop and then pull another loop through it and then pull down. Once you have your slip knot, the next thing you want to do is to create a chain. And to do that, you will yarn over and then pull that loop through the chain that you just created. Next, we will take that loop and pull it out to your desired length. For example, if you would like your fringes to be three inches long, I would suggest to pull that loop out to seven inches. That should give you about a three inch long um, fringe. Since I don't have my measuring tape or my ruler at the moment, I will be using this spool to demonstrate. I will be pulling out each fringe to that length each time. So next, what you want to do is to hold snugly onto that chain and start twisting the yarn around your hook like that. And you want to do that about 25 to 30 times, just depending on how long your fringe is going to be. So, so far I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Once I have 20, you can check to see how it curls up on itself. I'm gonna do five more. One, two, three, four, five. And that makes it a little bit more tight. Once you have twisted the yarn your desired number of times, you will go back to your chain that you were holding on to and do a slip stitch. So you'll yarn over and then pull that loop through both of the loops that are on your hook. Just like that. So you'll repeat the process. Chain one. And then next you will go ahead and pull out your loop to your desired length. And then start twisting. Then you will go back again, insert your hook into that chain, and then do a slip stitch by yarning over the hook and then pulling through both of the loops on your hook. And again, you will repeat this process. Chain one, pull out your loop to your desired length, and I'm using that spool for measurement and start twisting and you will get the hang of it as you go so go back to that original chain insert your crochet hook you will yarn over and then pull through both loops on your hook and then repeat the process by chaining one and you will do it all over again. So once you have completed making your fringe to your desired length, for example, if you were making it for a man's shirt, you would need about two yards. You should have something that looks like this. Next, what we will be doing is going back across the top of the fringe and doing a single layer of single crochet. To do that, you want to go in between each fringe, like so. You would yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and then pull through both.
So now you have reached your last single crochet. And again, you will do the same thing by going in, pulling up a loop, and pulling through the loop that's on your hook. And to finish and fasten off, you will just do another chain, pull up the loop, and you're done. So as you can see, this creates a nice border um, to where you can place your border of blue on top of when you get ready to sew these on. Now to fix the fringes themselves, you all you have to do is take one of the fringes, split it in half, and then twist it the way that it's supposed to go. And as you can see, it creates a fringe. And repeat. Take one of the fringes, split it in half, and then twist it in the direction that it's supposed to go. And there's the second one. And you'll just repeat this process until you have completed your entire trim of fringe. created fringe I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial I really want to thank you all for um, watching and tuning in I will also be doing future videos and um, fringes also sewing tutorials in the future if you have any suggestions or comments or questions concerns please leave them in the comment section below Thank you for tuning in to Soju TV. And with that, I say shalom. So I felt like there would have been a little bit of confusion with me doing that crochet border while the fringes were still all twisted up. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out and show you how to do it. Um, so I'm just pulling out the stitches here. And Okay, so let's say this is the point where you're at and you finish straightening out all the fringes. What you'll want to do is to um, look in between each fringe. There is a chain that you'll want to crochet into. So insert your hook into that chain. You will yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, and then you will pull through both loops on your hook. Now again, I'm gonna show you. Look in between both of the fringes. There is a chain. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, and then you will pull through both loops on your hook. So you'll just go ahead and repeat that process. And once again, I'm gonna show you. Go in between the fringes, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both and just repeat. You have made it to the final single crochet. And once you have completed, you will do a final chain, pull up a loop, you'll cut the yarn and then you'll be finished so thank you for sticking it out to the end with this tutorial i really appreciate you all watching this video um, if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like me to do in the future just leave it down in the comment section and now with that i say shalom